The truth is, nobody who is a leader in northern Nigeria today can afford to be happy. You can't be happy with 87% of the poverty in Nigeria being in the north. You can't be happy with millions of northern children out of school. You can't be happy with nine states in the north contributing almost 50% of the entire malnutrition burden in the country. You can't be happy with the drug problem. You can't be happy with the Boko Haram problem. You can't be happy with political thuggery. You can't be happy with all the issues, the al problem that we have. So when we wish Nasser a happy birthday, we do not want him to be happy as a leader. Because you are happy when you think you have reached a state of delivering and taking your people to where you want them to be. Now because of the condition of northern Nigeria, it is almost cliche now to say, if you are seen as normal, if you're a governor in the north or a leader in the north, and if you are seen as normal in the sense that you continue to do what your predecessors have been doing, doing the same thing which has been normalized, then there's something wrong with you. You are part of the problem. The real change in the north will come from the mavericks, those who are considered mad people. Because you look around and you have to say, if this is the way we have been doing things, and this is where we have ended up, maybe we need to do things differently. If we have populated the government with middle-aged men, maybe we need to try younger people. Maybe we need to try women. If we have spent our time and our money on physical infrastructure, maybe we need to invest more in the education of our children. Maybe we need to invest more in nutrition. Maybe we need to invest more in primary health care. And the truth is, if you look at what Nasser is doing in Kaduna with 40% of his budget in education, that is the only thing that is going to save the North. And I know that when we say these things, they don't go down well. We've been saying this for 20, 30 years. If the North does not change, the North will destroy itself. The country is moving on. Quota system that everybody talks about must have a sunset clause. The reason people like Nasser stand up and they're nationalists is that you don't have any sense of inadequacy. You don't need to ride on being from Kaduna State or being from the North or being a Muslim to get a job. You go with your credentials, you go with your competence, you can compete with any Nigerian from anywhere. We need to get our Northern youth to a point where they don't need to rely on being from a part of the country to get a job. And believe me, if we don't listen, there will be a day when there will be a constitutional amendment that addresses this issue of quota system and federal character. The rest of the country cannot be investing, educating its children, producing graduates, and then they watch us, they can't get jobs because they come from the wrong state, when we have not invested in the education of our own children. So as we celebrate Nasser at 60, we need to celebrate him as a public officer who is addressing the core problems of his constituency. It is education. It's girl child education, it's women's rights, it's child begging, parental irresponsibility. 
demographic growth. It's managing a multicultural, multi-ethnic, multi-religious society and bringing them into one community where they're all citizens. And, it's, and he's done a lot that we can learn from.